I'm Chris from the Play and Learning team at Eureka and today I've got a science experiment that you can have a go at at home. Now we do have instructions for this on our website so you can follow those or you can watch this video, do it along with me and I'll explain some of the science behind it as I go. Now to do this you need a few things. You need a glass with about this much water in, you need some food colouring, you need some Alka-Seltzer, uh, some oil and I probably also do it in a tray just to be extra careful. Now to start with, what you want to do is you want to colour your water at the bottom. So I've got some red food colouring and you only need a very, very small amount. So be extra careful and just a couple of drops will do it. Or a little bit more than a couple of drops. Mix that up nicely and you've got some lovely red water. Now the next job is one you've got to be extra careful with because you need to pour the oil into the glass. You'll see that when you put the oil in, it doesn't mix with the water very well. In fact, it stays separated out. And if you leave it for a little while, it will settle fully so there'll be no bubbles in it. That's because oil and water are what's called immiscible. They don't mix. And the oil sits on top of the water because it's less dense than the water. So you want to leave it for a little while just to let it settle. So once your oil has settled, it's time to get your lava lamp going. You want to grab one of your Alka-Seltzer tablets and split it into smaller pieces. And then when you're ready, drop one of those pieces in. The Alka-Seltzer will drop straight to the bottom and you should see something happening almost straight away. For this, the important ingredients in an Alka-Seltzer tablet are bicarbonate of soda and citric acid. Now, they're in the tablet in powder form, so they don't react. But as soon as you add them to water, a chemical reaction kicks off, producing a gas, carbon dioxide. And that gas is less dense than both the water and the oil, so it rises up to the surface. But it pulls along with it a little bit of the coloured water. Once the gas reaches the surface, it dissipates, leaving the water, which is denser than the oil, to sink back down and rejoin the bottom water layer. So there you go. That is how you make your very own homemade lava lamp. 